Hello and welcome to another in my series of videos on uh, control uh, systems engineering. <clears throat> I'm Frank Owen, uh, uh, principal at PolyX Engineering Incorporated in San Luis Obispo, California. This video concerns a closed loop transfer function, which is a very important part of uh, classical control theory. We uh, saw earlier in uh, a, a video on control loop anatomy what the various parts and pieces of the system were, uh, and uh, this was actually shown in that video. <clears throat> One thing that I'd like to point out here is that uh, we have a loop. Uh, we have what's called a feed forward path, which is uh, the signal gets passed uh, from the left to the right, uh, from the desired value to the actual value. And then we have a feedback path, too. <clears throat> the loop is closed, and uh, the way the loop works, actually, is that the uh, desired value is compared with the actual value and then uh, the difference is um, uh, produced and the controller acts on that difference, etc. Uh, that was explained in an earlier video, so I'm not going to talk about that any further here. Uh, it's obvious, though, why this is called a loop. Uh, to um, be able to talk about the closed loop transfer function, uh, we will go to the symbolic representation of the uh, control loop. And here we've replaced the uh, names with uh, actual uh, variables and then also the signal names in the blocks and then the signal names with uh, their variable representation also. Uh, with the loop closed, the actual value, which is C, is being fed back and compared with the desired value, R. Um, and then the controller acts on that difference. Uh, um, it's often useful to be able to replace this entire loop with one single block that is called a closed loop transfer function. And uh, the means for doing that is to use a little bit of uh, uh, block diagram algebra. Uh, first thing, the first step that we'll take is that uh, in our block diagram algebra, we notice that up here at the top we have three blocks in series. And uh, one of the rules of block diagram algebra is that when you have three uh, items in series, you can simply uh, multiply them together. So we're going to replace those three with one single symbol G, which is just the product of those three uh, block, uh, blocks. So the block diagram uh, becomes simpler, and instead of having the three blocks in the top, we simply have this one block G, and then in the feedback uh, loop we have, or feedback path, we have H, which is the, the sensor for the system. Now, uh, with this configuration, we can see that C is simply the multiplication of G times E. Uh, traditionally, we put the uh, block uh, the transfer function of the block first and the signal after that. Uh, also, uh, for this uh, feedback path, B, which is the sensed value, is equal to the actual value times the uh, sensor block diagram, or sensor uh, transfer function, excuse me. And then also up here at the top, we have this uh, comparator. It's just a summing junction is all it is, with one of the inputs being uh, negative. So we're taking the difference between R and B, and that's called E, which is the error, which is the input uh, into the feed-forward path of the system. What we want to do again is we want to get the closed-loop transfer function, which would be the single block equivalent of this uh, uh, loop. And um, uh, a transfer function is simply defined as uh, its output over its input. So we start with these relations here, and we can manipulate them um, algebraically. We divide through by G for the first one. <clears throat> um, we do nothing with the second one. And uh, we substitute the second one uh, into the third one, and the first one into the third one also, and we wind up with uh, uh, this relationship here. <clears throat> And then uh, we can use that by collecting the terms on the left-hand side that have a C in them, factoring the C out. And again, the a transfer function is simply the output over the input. And if we uh, uh, perform that algebraic um, operation, we wind up with this transfer function here. 
g over 1 plus gh. So uh, this is the equivalent because we were careful in the way that we did our block diagram algebra and we can replace that entire system before with the feedback, feed forward and feedback loops with one, sin, one uh, single uh, transfer function. Uh, these uh, transfer functions G and H, or, or uh, yes, transfer functions G and H are usually quotients of polynomials in S. We'll work an example in a minute that shows that. Uh, and that makes it useful to uh, develop another version of the closed loop transfer function. So what we're going to do is we're going to redefine them. We're going to break G up into a numerator and a denominator and break H up also into a numerator and a denominator. So in this case, uh, N stands for numerator, D stands for denominator, and the subscript uh, uh, defines uh, what transfer function it belongs to. So if we do that, we substitute those uh, expressions into our, closed loop, our expression for our closed loop transfer function. Uh, we can multiply, to simplify it, we can multiply the top and the bottom by DGDH to uh, get these out of the denominator in the denominator. And so we multiply the top and the bottom by DG times DH. Uh, uh, obviously, uh, when we do that on, in the denominator, that clears these, but puts them in this position here. If we do it on the top, we already had a DG in the uh, denominator of the numerator. That cancels out and we're left with dh in the uh, uh, numerator. So uh, this is a very useful uh, form of the closed loop transfer function that we'll use over and over again. ng times dh over dg dh plus ng uh, nh. Uh, I've already stated this, so I'll continue. So what I would like to do is to show how this plays out in real life. And we're going to start off with a somewhat complicated uh, uh, system. Our controller is here, our actuator is here, our plant is here, and here's our sensor feedback. Um, so we have a, actually, um, this may not be evident at this stage of the game, but this is a PI controller, proportional plus integral controller. We have an actuator that has a delay of subtype in it. it. It doesn't immediately act. It takes a little bit of time to act. So we have a first order uh, system for our actuator. Our plant turns out to be a second order system. And then our sensor is a zeroth order system or just simply a constant. So what we're going to do is write out the expressions for uh, NG, uh, NH, DG, DH, uh, which I've done here. And all I've done uh, for NG is simply the sum, uh, not the sum, the product of these three numerators here. The denominator is simply the product of these three denominators here. Uh, the uh, numerator of H is, uh, is uh, KS. Uh, there's no denominator here, so the denominator of H is 1. And if we apply those uh, to our formula <clears throat> that we had before, NG DH is 1, so it doesn't appear here. So this is simply the same as that. Uh, over DG... Uh, which is uh, all of this, and it's times dh, but dh is 1, so that doesn't appear either, plus ng, so that's this here, nh, which is the ks. So this winds up being our closed-loop transfer function for uh, this comp rather complicated uh, uh, control loop, and this can be further simplified. I'm not going to do it here and put into some type of standard form. So what you would do is collect the, uh, it looks like we're going to have a, let's see, an S, uh, we'll have S times this S times this S. So we're going to wind up with a fourth order system um, in the denominator here. And up in the top, we're going to have a first order um, uh, polynomial for the numerator. Now, uh, nowadays, uh, with computer control, we often have a feedback loop that has uh, H, uh, unity feedback, it's called, a unity feedback uh, system. And in that case, H is equal to 1. And that makes the formula for uh, the closed loop transfer function a little bit simpler. So every place that we had an H in the uh, original formula that we developed, uh, we just simply leave it off because it's equal to 1. And then in our... Um, 
um, formula, our detailed formula with the numerators and denominators, it turns out to be uh, quite a bit simpler too. NH is uh, 1, DH is 1, so wherever they appear in the uh, uh, more complete formula, we simply leave them out because we're, we're multiplying by 1. Uh, again, uh, let me pitch my book uh, just a little bit. All of this is contained in uh, my uh, uh, very practical uh, book on uh, control systems engineering which is available from PolyX Engineering uh, for $25 plus shipping and handling. Uh, please write me at fon at polyxengineering.com. Again, thanks for watching the video, and uh, I hope to see you or have you as a guest in the next video.